Dusty. Who do you got? You're so sassy tonight. I'm not sure what it's it is. It's not a Maybe word that applies the, to me. No, you're sassy. It's full of sass. I'm not sassy. Terry from Long Island thinks you're sassy. Terry does not think I'm sassy. <laughs> Terry, how am I doing? Strong Island. You're wonderful. I have been watching you since you were on CNN, and when you were let go, I changed to this station because I happen to think you're wonderful. But I want to know, sometimes you got me wondering, how are you about Biden? What I want to know what your real feelings are about Biden. I think he's a good man who was very good uh, to me and my brother. He had a relationship with my father. Uh, when my father passed, he was very good to us. I had a lot of personal affection and respect uh, for his son, Bo Biden. I think he could have been a generational leader. Um, I am concerned uh, by this president's reticence to make the case to you that he has the gas in the tank, that he has the ideas, that he's in control, that he is the best uh, that we can do right now. Uh, he won't even come on this show. So it's hard for me to believe uh, that he has what it takes when he doesn't seem to have what it takes to make the case. Next. 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 Uh, Carla from Hallandale Beach, Florida. I know the area well. Oh, how you doing? How am I doing? Actually, I must say you're doing a much better job than when you were on CNN. Uh, so I have to say that. And by the way, your mustache looks pretty good, actually. Well, I agree with the second part. Actually, I don't. It's itchy and pathetic. But so is the fact that the president hasn't gone to East Palestine. And we just don't see the urgency for these people that they warrant. And I believe that what's happening in East Palestine is a metaphor for neglect of a group of people that exist in many different places, not just in the Rust Belt, but all over this country. And I think that that's reason enough to put your arms around the community, like was done too late again, but done in Flint, Michigan. Um, because we've got to show people in this country that the people in power care. I think it's the biggest deficit that we have. I don't get, are you still there or did Dusty cut you off? Oh, um, well, if you're there, how am I any different than when I was at CNN? Oh. All right. Well, then I'll answer it myself. I'm not. Next. 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 OK. I thought she was still there. She didn't ask her a question. Well, why are you taken by surprise? Because she, Carla was going to ask. This is what a, you do is arrange the calls in this segment. I'm an operator. That's what I do. I'm an oper not a very good one, apparently. Um, Hollis, <laughs> 4497. Hold, please. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> Craig from Shelby Township, Michigan, I think. <laughs> Hey, Craig, how you doing? How am I doing? Hey, hey, brother. Hey, do me a favor. Stop putting yourself down. You're brilliant. You always tell the guests that they're smarter than you. Mr. Positive believes in you. But here's the question, my friend. You're brilliant. Chris, isn't the UFO coverage the biggest story in human history? It seems nobody's really paying attention. Why do you think that is, my friend? I don't uh, First of all, thank you for the ridiculously generous assessment. I appreciate it. Uh, I do not think it's the biggest story in the world. I think that there being life beyond this planet would be the biggest thing that's ever happened uh, to world history because of what it could mean in terms of advancing our culture. Um, but, but, but. For me, it's a transparency story, all right? Trust for government begins with transparency. I'm not looking for little green men. That's not the rabbit hole that I'm going down. I don't like that they have decided that you don't get to know anything. And I don't believe they know nothing when it comes to stuff like this. What's flying around, who's sending it in. And I, I just believe that this culture of you don't get to know that we see all over our government has to end. And this is good an opportunity to do it as any. All right, Dusty, you got another one? No, I can it's do just it. me. We don't have any more. We don't have any more time. We have 30 seconds to Dan. And I don't like Three to take Three phone it. calls. We own, we owe Dan time. We've eaten into his time. I'm on talking to you in your ear. Somebody wanted to oh, ask fine. us. Let's bring him wait, in but, now. wait, but somebody wanted to ask us if you would ever do a show revealing everything I say to you in your ear. Whew. Cool. It would be great, but it'd be your last day. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I do have to be honest. So let's get bring in Dan Abrams. Okay. I got to tell you, I Dan? love Dusty and she's the same way when we're not working as she is when she's on this show. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com 
and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.